Today, my speech is about research on the motivation of rural tourism based on granted salary in the post-COVID-19 era. I'm a speaker, I'm Wei. There are five parts of my speech. The first part is introduction, the second is methodology, the third is research design, the fourth is data coding, the last one is results and discussion. Let's begin with my first part. I'm Wei Wang. Wei is my first name, Wang is my last name. I'm a PhD candidate of the University of Zaragoza in Economy and Management of Organization program. It's my email. If you have any question, please email me. At the beginning of 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic swept the world, infecting tens of millions of people and putting many countries under a state of emergency. As a fragile and sensitive industry, the tourism industry has suffered a major impact during the pandemic and uh, was once in state of shutdown. During the pandemic, consumers were able to travel across regions due to government restrictions on footsteps, and the villages around their place of residence became the first choice for tourism. This research analyzed the psychology motivation of rural tourism with granted salary. In the past 40 years, the global tourism industry has grown by leaps and bounds. The tourism has become one of the important engines of global economics development, promoting development and industrial transformation. However, the COVID-19 pandemic suddenly slammed the bricks on the global tourism industry, and its hard impact has gradually emerged. It not only reflects the close relationship between tourism and consumption in the era of globalization, but also reveals the fragility of the tourism industry. This study conceptualized rural tourism motivation in the context of the pandemic as a new theoretical construct, and uh, as such, the constructalization and the measurement of the dimensions of rural tourism motivation become the first step in this study. Uh, qualitative research can more and quickly explain behavioral persists based on the concepts and the dimensions of the motivation of the rural tourism experience. In this way, the motivation of tourism can be explained in the context of the pandemic. Likewise, the grounded theory approach is capable of explaining the formation of the value of the rural tourism experience and is typically in a contextual perspectives. This explains the behavioral behavior of tourists when they perceive value of the tourist, tourist experience and the different partners of behavior are presented. Interview samples provide robust data support for building granted theory models. This article, this article selects tourists who have traveled to rural areas during the pandemic period as a research object. The number is um, 30 people. Focus group interview and in-depth interviews are selected for tourists, tourists of different ages, occupations, and uh, tourists. Uh, this is a focus group question design. The presenter firstly briefly introduces the, and explains the research project and asks the focus group interviews is to introduce the, themselves before answering the questions in the outline below. To get better information on the dynamic, it was developed in Chinese. The analysis was carried out from the 
individual study of the answers given by participants. First question is about the could you recall and describe your rural tourism experience? Could you describe your feeling, emotions, and emotion before going the trip? Could you describe your feeling, emotion, and experience after the experience obtains? What kind of experience do you expect from the rural, rural tourism? Before the pandemic completed over, will you visit the countryside again? Or will you choose another type of tourism? In accordance with the principle of the third day sampling, the collective materials are analyzed and code in open. In opening coding, we must do our best to maintain the originalities and the consistency of the, the terms and uh, definitions used. In this case, it is a response treatment on the characterize of value of the motivation of rural tourism. In this research, in opening code, according to the characterize of the collect data, the comprehensive user paragraph coding, sentence coding, line by line coding and other models so that the concepts and the theories contained in the data are presented in a constant and normal way, natural way, with the object of a total 50 in, in initial concepts of which 20 theoretical based simple were extracted. And in the Actual coding is thinking about the category of the concept growth on the basic concepts, discarding the relationship between concept nodes and establishing the new categories. The research focuses on individual motivations. And in the selective coding, selective coding is more directional and conceptual. It is a coding of the variables that can be important related to the central variables determined by the researcher. The central variable get future data of collection and theoretical samplings. Coding finally results in four core categories, step by step, among which is experience no motivation, relationship promoting motivation, self development motivation, and self actualization motivation. In the future, we can in depth research of rural tourism motivation and the perception from several perspectives. One is use quantitative models to analyze the influence of age, gender income and other factors on motivation, combining quantitative analysis to increase the personality of the research results. This article is a study on rural tourists after the pandemics. In the future, we can conduct research on promotion rural tourism after the uh, pandemics. And uh, we can know the results in the future. And uh, this is my presentation. If you have any questions, please email me. Thank you all. Bye-bye.